Hi. Hey, Mr. Dixon. This is Eric in Santa Barbara. How are you? I, I appreciate you. I appreciate your show. I appreciate your voice. Thank uh, you. I think that uh, you did a great job yesterday with Stargard. I really appreciate that you didn't just kind of go there with him, right? Like, you, you, you're totally capable, capable of doing that with him, but you didn't. You were reasonable and articulate, and you pretty much just broke him down and destroyed all the dumbness he was talking about. So I, I didn't appreciate that he wouldn't recognize the, the systemic yeah. issues that, that you're trying to bring up, right? He's talking about, what, well, a black family, and uh, uh-huh. don't you agree? And it's like, dude, don't you see? Like, this is, we're, we're, we're trying to fight against 400 years of oppression, of slavery, of Jim Crow, yeah. of incarceration. But he just was not trying to recognize any of that. So great job. My point is that you did a great job. You held your own and, and basically just broke him down and destroyed him like any superhero would with an idiot like that. So great job. I, What's your I, name I want to remind you, remember last summer? We yeah. thought the Democratic Party was on top. We thought the GOP was in <laughs> crisis and decline. Man. We thought... How? We were going to run things, and here we are, and the tables have completely turned. Man, right? how, like t- how top, times have changed. We're trying to find ourselves. Yeah. And you know you identify yourself as a socialist, and here's the issue. Obama wasn't progressive. Right. None of our leaders are progressive because Agreed. there's no pressure on them to be progressive. Agreed. All of these, all of these all of these groups and coalitions that we need to have together to put pressure on these people yeah. and to, to, to actually influence these policies from our leaders, it, it just isn't there, Ben. And that's why they're going after BLM. That's why they're going yeah. after all of us, right? Anybody on the left, anybody that's trying to make a, a, a cogent argument, anybody that's trying to really put any kind of pressure from the left, the Koch brothers learned a long time ago, and this is back following World War II, when we discovered that, you know what, we can, we can influence FDR, we can influence our leaders to right. implement these policies if we come with it. But, you know, these other groups were like, no, we're, we're going to bust you up. We don't want labor. We don't want any kind of leftist progressive movements having any influence on our politics. So they've gone after us, and that's where we're at today. We yeah. can't. We can't expect Obama to do anything or Hillary, even Bernie. Bernie, you know, he's standing only going to do so much. the sphere of influence that I'm talking about. But, yeah. but until and unless we coalesce and come with it, we can't expect any kind of progressive policies from our leaders. Yeah, yeah. That's, I agree with you 100% there, man. What's your name again? This is Eric. I'm in Santa Barbara. A long time listening. I'm, I'm so happy for your success, man. You're Thanks, such man. an important voice in all this. I love Anella and politics and risk. And you guys were arguing about superheroes yesterday. I'm like, what are you guys getting into? But that was entertaining. <laughs> and <laughs> We didn't even mean yeah. to. Like, We legit tried to cover politics, and it ended up being an entire episode about whether Ben Affleck was the best Batman, which I think he was. But I don't want to open, I don't wanna open that I up know. again. <laughs> Thanks for the call, man. Appreciate the call.